Hi, welcome to my tutorial on making a tree opacity. This works on bushes, trees, flowers, anything you want. So what you want to do is first go to Yahoo or GIMP and go to search, click on images and just try, type tree, enter. Now if something that you on a tree or a bush or whatever, if it has a nice white background like these would have, it'd work great. So all you do is click on it and this will show up. Click on view image. Right click on that picture, save as, and save it somewhere you can find it. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to open Paint. Paint is a free program on Vista and GIMP. I mean uh, Vista and XP. If you can't find it in the bottom left corner, click on your start button and it's in there. Just What I do is I just drag it on my desktop to make it easier to find. I'm going to find file, open, and I'm going to find my tree. And I'll show you why we're doing this in a second. If you look between the bottom of the tree, the bark, and the bottom of the picture, you got a gap. If you made it like that, that would end up the tree being up in the air. So what we're going to do is we're going to crop this. You click on this little dotted box. These will drop down. Click on the bottom one. Then take your little cross area thing and crop around the tree. And now I'm going to leave it just above the bottom of the bark. I'm going to right click. I'm going to copy two, and I'm going to just name this tree two, and click save. Next thing we're doing is we're going to open a GIMP. Go to file, open, and find your tree. And I'm going to, I'm going to do tree two, okay. Now, first thing I'm going to do with this, I'm going to go to file, save as. I'm just going to change this bitmap to a JPG. And I'm going to show you why. And save save. Now if you look, tree 2 is 232 KBs. That's really big. But if you look, just by changing it to a JPEG, it's down to 18.5. Okay, so that's great. Now, next what you want to do is go to Image, Mode, Grayscale. Okay, now go back to Image, Mode, Indexed. When you click on Indexed, this is going to happen. Uh, click on Use Black and White, convert. Okay, now that's okay, but it's not great. And you still got a white background. So what we're going to do next is I'm going to move this over, I think. Colors. Value invert. Now you have a nice opacity. File. Save as. I'm just going to save this as tree 2 1. I'm just going to put a 1 here and save. Now this is going to show up like this. Just put export and save. Now, whenever you're doing a room or a tree or a bush or something, this is what's going to happen. You're going to have something like this, a four panel square box, or some are six, some are eight. It just varies on who's making it. So what we're going to do now is go to your, well, first of all, this one has vortex. Always click vortex off, click two sided on. Go to your opacity, click on the little box in there, and find your trees. Okay, tree two one, there it is open and if you look you'll see it's the black and white tree. Go to the fuse color, click on the box, tree 2, open, save, and there you go. You got yourself a nice little tree. Now, it works the same thing like I said on bushes, flowers, anything. And if you notice the tree is on the ground, if you wouldn't have cropped it that would have been up in the air. Okay, and that's all there is to making a tree or bush opacity. If you have any questions stop by my group in IMVU, GIMP and SketchUp and ask a question, we'll be more than happy to help you. Thank you and have a great day.